It's a new day, everyone. Welcome to episode 5 of this Let's Play. Uh, I actually don't remember where we left off, honestly. So hopefully we find something pretty good. Uh, hopefully there's no microphone issues like before. Uh, we're going to hopefully uh, have everything go well. This session will probably be about the same as before. I should actually set a timer, honestly, for about 30 minutes. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, let me just go to the clock here. Uh, 30 minutes. Start. Uh, I'll probably just set a timer from now on. Uh, yeah, well, sure. We'll save and continue. From what I remember last time, we did uh, the footprints, uh, sentry duty. Uh, this time, we will most likely... Uh, honestly, I don't know. So we're going to see together. I have... Uh, Kind of a, an idea of what we're gonna do. Probably just more job assignments until we rank up. So once we do that, we'll move on to the next chapter. We should still be on chapter four, uh, and that's okay. Doesn't really matter too much. That's what Corfish gotta say. Uh, hey, you too. Wanna hear a tip about the job on board tasks? Uh, it's probably what I think it is. So I won't be doing that. Yeah, you don't wanna know. If it's what I think it is. It's probably just selecting multiple jobs of the same dungeon. Uh, in that case... Uh, failed to turn. Rescue Spinarak. I can accept that. Missing Pokemon, Geodude. On floor... Doesn't actually... Say, huh? Wonder why. There is three Drenched Bluff missions. So maybe... Yeah, I think I will actually do the Drench Bluff mission instead, because there's three missions instead of just two. Uh, so let's do that. Job list. Take job, take job, take job. And we'll go off and do those missions. Now, this is actually a new recording session. I actually only recorded one episode yesterday, but that's fine. Uh, what are these two doing here? Oh, this is me Friday of Bidoof. Let us be brave and go on our on exploration. I'm going on an exploration with some flora, but oof. I tell you, I'm feeling less than mighty confident. I think these two are actually here because of Bidoof's side mission, and I do plan on doing Bidoof's side mission eventually. Probably not today, or for a while, maybe that will be post-game. Uh, because they are generally hard, and they're kind of out of the way. They're not really a part of the main story. But... Because this will be pre-recorded, uh, it's not too pre-recorded into advance. This is actually only episode 5. I plan on releasing the first episode on Pokemon Day. So we're going to do just that. First episode goes on Pokemon Day on the 27th. This will go up likely 5 days after that. Uh, so I'll have time to read comments or anything that happened to be in the first few episodes if you want to see the special episodes. Uh, because then I can just get working on them immediately. It'll probably come out like a week later, maybe. Because I'll probably record seven episodes and then start the release of each episode. That's just kind of what I plan to do. Is my inventory full? Uh, okay, I will... I wish I actually uh, knew my inventory is full there. That's okay. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll just speed through a lot of this dungeon. There's nothing important. Uh, Torture, deal with that guy. Ooh, Anorith. Just another Anorith. It's fine. Uh, I'll just beat the crap out of these guys. There's not really much here. Ooh. Now, yesterday, uh, I was planning on doing more Mystery Dungeon, but instead I decided to record today because I wanted to have some fun with some friends. Uh, we did play uh, other games. Um, most notably, we played Dead by Daylight. Uh, that type of game I don't really play often, and it's mainly because I just don't have the energy to play that game. It's kind of like a co-op survival horror type of thing, where you just repair generators and run away from a killer, and you can play as a killer as well. Uh, so we basically played that for a couple of rounds. Uh, after that, we eventually... I'm not sure if we did this before or after, but we played another game, uh, Death Road to Canada. 
Now that game is a game I really do enjoy a lot. And it's basically kind of like an Oregon Trail type of game, but with uh, pixel art, zombies, and lots of looting and all that. You run around, beat up a bunch of zombies with the tools that you get, uh, and then you try to get, make it to Canada. You gotta drive all the way straight over there. And once you make it, it's really good. That's basically the end quote of that game. Uh, I do plan on actually maybe playing Death to Canada on this channel, uh, probably after this Let's Player here. Uh, and then... I have like a, quite a few things I want to do for this channel. There's a lot of games I want to play. Lots of games are fun. Uh, a lot of them are pretty fun to watch as well. Um, kind of what inspired me to actually do this Let's Play, because I did enjoy a lot of people playing Mystery Dungeon. And also Death to Canada, I've seen a few people play that game. And it's very fun. I do enjoy that game a lot. I think people would enjoy watching that as well here. Because um, it's just a game that I don't really see a whole lot of people play. So maybe people are starting for that type of content. So might as well start playing that type of thing. Uh, we reached the destination floor. What I'll probably do just to speed up the process is... I'll just do this uh, dungeon type of thing on my own. I'll skip to the floor where the objective is. Uh, we'll do that objective, and then pause recording, then unpause it. You know the drill. So, because the person is on this floor, I actually didn't read what they wanted. But what I will do is just, just consume a lot of this stuff. I really don't... I really should have deposited all my stuff. That's just a blast seed, I don't need it. So I'll just ember this guy right here, it's just a little leap, nothing too crazy. I probably should have accepted the Mount Bristol missions, honestly, because it's a whole lot more interesting than doing this type of mission again. Or this dungeon, rather. It's not too interesting. Got some money, though. We always take money. Money is very much appreciated. Got another Shellus here, one shot. Gotta love one-shotting. Oh, wait, isn't there a guy here? Where is he? Uh, what was the mission? I'm actually going to take a look at what the mission was. I think it's, uh, where? <laughs> Team, no. Others, mission objectives. Oh, okay. Find Blast Seed. Oh! Okay, I'm glad I looked at that, because the Blast Seed is just right down here. Uh, no, that's the XIC. Blast Seed was over here. I'm glad I actually, uh, took a look at that before I actually went on to the next floor. That could have been bad because then I would have to, like, redo this dungeon, or just cancel the mission entirely. That's just a Shellos. Get out of here. No one wants you here. Blast Seed should be here, yeah, okay. We'll just eat an apple. Maybe a regular apple, or... We'll just throw this, we don't need that. That'll just fly off in the distance. There we go, Blast Seed. No, we don't want to leave the dungeon now. We'll continue exploring. Uh, I'll see you on the next floor where the mission is. Okay, we found the next guy. He's just right here. Uh, it wasn't too long. He's literally next to me. I just walked into this uh, next floor, and boom, we got Kabuto. This time, I'm not saying Kabutops like I did in the first few episodes. I kept calling this guy, this guy Kabutops. I looked back at the recordings. I realized I kept saying Kabutops, and I was like, man, why do I keep saying that? It's Kabuto. So, if you guys caught up on that, I'm well aware. Uh, but that episode was recorded like two days ago. Uh, the episode is probably well released by now, by the time this one is actually released. So, didn't really have a whole lot of like times to correct it, because I don't really correct anything until after the video's done. Uh, so if I get around to editing, if I do eventually do that, who knows if I actually will edit. Don't really have editing software at the moment of the time of this recording. If there's any suggestions, I'll take it. Uh, one episode I do want to edit a lot is probably three. Because episode three felt like it dragged on a little bit. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, I still think it's a pretty good episode because that is when there was the drowsy and... He did his whole, ah, it's a trick, I deceived you. I 
I'm actually glad that was kind of like a small internet joke for Miss Junction. Uh, what is a dough seed? Oh, that's kind of like the doom seed, right? Yeah. A food item makes more money appear on the next floor. Okay. I think there was a mission here, if I had to guess, so we're going to need to check the ground. Let's go to other mission objective. Find decor orb on floor six. Oh, is that not that thing right there? Yeah. Well, how lucky of me. Uh, we'll just pick up that thing. We don't really need to use the dough seed anymore, so I guess just eat the blast seed. I don't need it. Not gonna give it a tortuic this time. There we go, decoy. And we beat the dungeon. Yeah, we're gonna leave this one because we already got all three objectives. There wasn't too long at all. Drenched bluff completed. Uh, I wonder what item we'll get. Well, it'll also be obviously tell me what items I'll get. Reviver seed, nice. I just forgot what I had chose. There we go. We got the congratulations. Team Xenofan went up in rank from the normal rank to the bronze rank. The number of items that can be kept in storage has been increased from 64 to 96. Okay, that's pretty good, but I don't really put stuff in storage at the moment. Citrus Berry. Ooh. I like this because what a Citrus Berry does is that it increases your max HP. So I'll probably give that to Chimchar because he's a little fragile compared to Turtwig. Ah, uh, thank you for rescuing me. Let's get that money. The 150G is pretty good. Or P, rather. Uh, grass Gummy is very handy to have for uh, Turtwig because he's a grass type, obviously. Uh, we'll just skip through a little bit of this dialogue. Uh, we do get a lot of money. I'm pretty rich, honestly. I wonder if I can afford anything special from the Kekleon shop. Got a few points here. <laughs> we'll end the day here. I'll just take a sip of this water right here. I don't have a monster this time. But staying hydrated is just as good. We should get some sleep too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, Lunogi. Okay, good night. Oh, here we go! Chapter 5, the first official exploration. This is what I've been waiting for. It only took one mission this time, probably because I ranked up. Next morning. Up and at him. It's morning. Uh, head, head hurts as usual. Yeah, well, sure, we'll save. We always save. Why not? Save completed. Alright, let's, uh, let's go see what that's up. Er, uh, ahem. Everyone listen up. I have an important announcement to make. Far to the northeast, then farther into its outermost reaches, there lies a place named Tree Shroud Forest. In Tree Shroud Forest, time has apparently stopped. Huh? Yeah, what did you say? You're saying time has stopped, eh? Hey? Yes, that's correct. Time has come to a standstill in Tree Shroud Forest. The wind has stopped. The clouds are motionless. Wonder what's happening. Dew drops on leaves won't fall. They just hang there, suspended. In Tree Shroud Forest, time itself has truly stopped. T time has stopped? But, how could something like this awful happen? It's unthinkable. Yes, the unthinkable has happened. Why has time stopped in Tree Shroud Forest? Well, it's because Tree Shroud's forest time gear was stolen. Huh? The time gear was stolen? That's what made time stop, hey hey. I heard it was possible, but now it's really happened. I don't get it though. Why would anyone Take a time gear. Quiet, everyone. Officer Magnazone already started an investigation. It's hard to believe that anyone would dare steal a time gear. But if one time gear can be stolen, the others may also be in danger. The officer asked me to be notified immediately if we notice any suspicious characters. So keep that in mind. Let us know if you notice anything. That is all. Alright, everyone, here's to another busy day of work. Alright. Alright. Let's see what that's about. Ah, oh, there you are. 
You two, come here. You've become quite good at your work. I'm impressed with your capture of Drowsy. That was very admirable. So, you will finally be assigned a mission worthy of proper exploration team. Really? Hooray! Let me see your wonder map. Oh, okay, open up the wonder map. Let's see what this is. Treasure Town is here. And over here is where we would like to investigate. <laughs> see? There is a waterfall flowing here. By all appearances, it is just an ordinary waterfall. But we've received intelligence that the waterfall may conceal a secret. That's where you come in. We want you to investigate the waterfall and determine what's there. Ah, the classic behind the waterfall type of treasure. Love to see those. That's all. Do you understand what the mission entails? Understood. Don't need to explain it again. If you need it to, to be explained, just rerun the video. Maybe it'll tell you again. Good. Uh, Alright, I'll leave you all to thoroughly investigate the waterfall. What's wrong? You're shivering. What is he called? Are you alright? Hey, yes, it's okay. It's just the anticipation is making me nervous. This will be our first time we do a real job as an exploration team. I feel a little worked up. Oh, I feel like I'm going to burst from excitement. Let's do our best, Lenogia. You got it, Chief. Let's do it. I think I believe we just go on to the waterfall. Oh, Lenogia and Rocky, too. Huh? What's Shamaka doing here? Oh. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> I think this is what I think it is. I started an assembly here today, in fact. Assembly? Yes. For assembling your team, have you ever considered adding members, Rocky? Other members? Well, sure. It's pretty cool to add other members. If there's more than just the two of us, it should be help uh, to explore the dungeons. Well then, you need to start recruiting new members. Oh, how do we start? I'll ring the friendship bell for you, Team Xeno fan. Here goes. Hey ya! Chamako rang the friendship bell. Now Team Xenofan has the power to recruit new members. I was waiting for this. Let's go. New members? It's always nice to have. Really? Yeah. For now on, while battling Pokemon in dungeons, you may earn the respect from some of them. And then, those Pokemon will then ask to join Team Xenofan. Once you have recruited a Pokemon, you can bring it along with you on dungeon explorations. To bring a Pokemon along, visit my assembly and then choose which members should join your team for the exploration. <laughs> Always see me when you want to assemble a team that includes recruits. Oh wow, thanks Shemeko. <laughs> okay. I think I actually discussed this with a friend earlier who also, I think, played this game. Uh, I did ask them, hey, why don't you start recruiting members? And he told me it was a waterfall. And he was right. Never doubted him in first second. I knew this was coming. Now that we finally get to recruit, it'll be a whole lot more spicy than just having the two of us. Huh? What's going on? Oh, we get the cafe as well. There are stairs here. There's something written on the sign. Oh, what? Spinda's Cafe. A shop of hopes and dreams? Opening soon? Win big? It says. Looks like a new shop will be opening soon. But hopes and dreams. I wonder what kind of shop this will be. Let's uh, come back after it's open and find out. That reminds me. Uh, Spinda Cafe usually have a lot of gummies. I'm just going to eat the gummies right now. Honestly. Can I eat any of the stuff here currently? Oh, it doesn't look like it. I, just, I guess I'll just go back to the Kangaskin storage. Deposit anything I don't need and then pick up stuff I will consume on the next dungeon. Uh, let's just go to the Kekman shop as well, see what we got. Royal Gummy, I assume, is every Pokemon type, so that'll be pretty fun to use. Cherry Berry, Violent Seed, oh, I love these. We saw what happened the first time. Yeah, let's buy one of these. Uh, looks like there is. Not much. Let's see what this guy is. I got like 2,000p. Uh, so I doubt we'll afford yeah, any of the TMs. I didn't think so. <laughs> Drought and Roll Call Orb. That'll be helpful later, but I don't need it now. I only have two members anyways. It's unlikely we'll be separated. 
There we go, King Gusta. King Gas Khan. Well, I butchered that. Uh don't need frost. Don't need heal. Don't need escape. Don't need drought. Uh don't need the warp seed. Don't need that. Eh. Uh, probably don't need two big apples. I'll just deposit those. Then we'll pick up the grass gummies. <laughs> or just all the gummies, honestly. Just take all of them. Some of these will be a waste, but I don't really care. Jing Sang powers up the topmost move. Is that an equip? If it's an equip, I won't use it now. Joy Seed, I'll keep for later. Life Seed, oh, that's what it does. It's basically just a citrus berry. We'll take a few of those, and then we will take the grass gummy, of course. And that's it. Just take all those stuff. There you go. Thanks for you to come again. Will do. Uh, I'll probably deposit some money, because you can never be too careful. We'll store about... Yeah, that's a good amount. We'll store about 2k. If there is a bank... Hopefully, uh, they have anything or something good. Where would you like to go? Well, I would like to go to the Secret Waterfall. Let's see. It's quite ominous. So this is a waterfall that supposedly has a secret. Yeah. Well, that water's come down hard. Try to close the waterfall, Linogia. It's true. This is incredible. I don't know if it's a good idea for me to do it, because I'm a fire type. I don't know, Turtwig, you want to do it again? I can barely stand, uh, stand, stay still near this deluge. Wow, I butchered that sentence. Oof. Never start recording when you just woke up. Wow. See, it's intense. If you were to fall into this waterfall, you'd probably be battered. I didn't think it would be pouring down this powerfully. Where should we even start looking? Another vision. What's happening this time? Something seems familiar. It's this dizziness I felt before. I'm gonna drink this water. I'm butchering my words. Oh, that must be wiggly tough. Wonder what he's doing here. Looks like a... memory. It happened again. I saw something. But what did I just see? Oh, what's the matter, Linogia? What? You had another vision? This time you saw a lone Pokemon leap into this waterfall. Not only that, there's a hidden cave behind the waterfall. Hmm. Looks like the waterfall is coming down really heavily. M uh, imagine if there was like a solid cl cliff wall behind that waterfall. Ouch. Yeah, you would fall into there and... I would be dead, personally. Not sure about you, Turtwig. Because you're not even uh, weak to water. You're just quite well. If we tried to jump through, we'd be pounded badly. Well, I would, definitely. So, Linogia. What do you think, Linogia? Is there really something behind this waterfall? Come on, bro. There's always something behind a waterfall. Are you really convinced that this is a cave there? Yes, I am. Well, okay. I'm putting my faith in you, Linogia. Yes, I totally believe you, Inogia. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Yikes. Okay, I gotta be brave now. If I get scared and fail to leap through that full speed, I'll be smushed no matter what I do. That's a good way to look at it. If I'm doing it, I have to do it without hesitating. Be brave. Be the bravest ever. Ready? Let's go, Inogia. Three, two, one, now! Whoa! You love to see it. Yeah, wow, wow. Looks like there's something was here. What is this? Yeah, it is a cave. You're right after all, Linogia. Let's go explore this cave. Let's see what secret it holds. Here we go, new dungeon, waterfall cave. Now, when I very first played the game, 
This is probably where most people, when they first play the game, will recruit their first member. And my very first recruit was a Barboach, but right here is a Whooper. Shout out to this guy. Or just this, in general. Looks like they have about 40 health. Uh, there seems to be a Lotad here. I wonder what that's about. Uh, Lotad should be a water uh, grass type, so Ember should be just fine to use. Yeah, there we go. Only 34? Well, 34 is actually a lot, what am I saying? But it looks like that wasn't even enough to kill first try. Water Sport weakens fire moves. That is not good, so I will move Turtwig there. Hopefully he attacks, there we go. And I'll just use Scratch just to deal with him. There we go. Uh, they, the enemies here seem to have about just 40 HP, which is uh, not bad at all. I will be using a lot of PP though, for all my Scratches. But luckily if I... Wow, that hurt. If I split the PP up between me and my party member, we should be okay. Growl, that's not the worst. I'll use Scratch, it'll be a little weaker, but that's okay. Hopefully there's a Wonder Tile to the right over here, or a Grimer, I guess. We'll just use Ember. Uh, wow, 42. Oh, here we go! We get our first party member. Other than, uh, Turtwig, obviously. Grimer. Now, I'm not sure what I'll call this guy, but since he's, he's our very first party member, I guess we could call him... I don't really know anything too creative. Maybe Fred. <laughs> Just call him Fred. Why not? Just a little Grimer. Grimer named Fred. He will be a muck in the future, probably, but I don't got any creative names to just uh, be a pun or anything. Name Fred okay? Yeah, it is. Fred has joined Team Xeno fan. Let's go on adventures. Now, what moves does Fred actually have? I'm curious. Let's see the team. He has 30 HP, so that's about 10 under us. So, if we're going by how everyone else's stats on this floor is, they probably have about 30 HP as well. He has Poison Gas, Pound, Harden, and Mud Slap. I'll probably deselect uh, Harden, mainly because I don't want him to spam the move when he's not even in combat most of the time. Uh, hopefully he doesn't use the Reviver Seats either. Wow, I am terrible at finding out where the next floor is. This dungeon will take forever. Ah, here we go. Waterfall Cave, Floor 2. Uh... It's gonna be a little weird having three members at a time now. We gotta be a lot more careful in case we get split up. Now, a roll call orb would normally prevent that from being a bad thing. Okay, I'm poisoned. Ow. Uh, normally... Three members and f four. That would be a bad thing normally. But if I have a roll call orb, that'll be fine. But I did deposit my roll call orb. I forgot to feed the grass gummies to Rocky. There we go. Cheerleader. I don't remember what that does, but we're just going to eat everything. Oh, okay. I forgot about those as well. Really should have ate those earlier. I'll just give the green gummy to me. Uh, seems to be somewhat satisfied. I quote, you open up slightly. These seem to be pretty neutral. I'll just give... Uh, just give it between both of us. Doesn't seem to dislike, so that's probably a good sign. Give that to Rocky. Seems to be somewhat satisfied. It's probably because he does become a ground type eventually. I don't know, actually. I will actually eat the dough seed because uh, having more gold will be pretty handy. We're running low on money, after all. Uh, I have a heal seed, so I will be using that. It's a shame that we are using the health seed now, heal seed now rather than later. That's okay. Like, I don't really want to be poisoned. But on second thought, the poison probably would have gone away if I went up those sto the stairs. So, unfortunately, I did waste a heal seed. Oh, bubble. Oh, that does a lot. Let's see what we can do to this guy. Let's show him we can do this. Alright, your job. 51 damage. I have nothing to worry about with Rocky on my side. I knew it was a good idea to choose a grass type for a fire type. Because those water types sure would rough me up real bad. This is just a Grimer. Luckily, they don't have Poison Point, I don't think. So I should be okay. Found. Um, that's okay. I might deselect Withdrawal from Turtwig, uh, so he doesn't keep spamming that move. Uh, looks like 
there's a heal seed here. Oh, I got the heal seed back. And now that I'm fully healed, I will actually be using my uh, life seed and citrus berry. Boost maximum HP to Anovia. Or is by three. Then I'll give the citrus berry to Rocky. Who has significantly less HP than I do, surprisingly. Looks like my timer did go off, but I'm actually going to continue to the rest of the dungeon, and then we'll episode end the episode there. I do like this cave a lot. Like, the music is very atmospheric. It's very nice. Is that a gold gummy? What kind of gummy is that? Is that for fire types by any chance? It is! If I remember correctly, red or orange rather, it's for fire types. Let's see if it actually says it on the description. Info? Fighting type. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I guess the red gummy would be for fire types, and then... This will still be good for me, because I'm a firefighting type in the future. So maybe it is programmed so that I will be... Doesn't seem to dislike it. Okay, so it doesn't affect it yet. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. Doesn't matter too much. I'm not going to be saving these gummies anyways. I just want to boost up my uh, IQ as far as I can. Another blue gummy. What does it give that to Chimchar or Rocky? I'll give it to Rocky. Yeah, because I think Chimchar would dislike it. Let's just Ember this guy. It is a new enemy. Uh, it is a Tangela. <laughs> or Tangela, if you're crazy. This guy uses an Ingrain, which doesn't really do much here, honestly. Probably a really bad move in Mystery Dungeon. Simply because... Oh! Simply because you're always in combat and you gotta move around and Ingrain puts you in place. But here's a Barboach, which is the very first Pokemon I recruited in my first playthrough when I was Bulbasaur and Eevee. Already at floor 5, which is already at floor 6, which is great. Now, now that I think of back on it, I think I did waste that uh, Doe Seed, because uh, no money. I didn't really explore the entire floor to get all the money. I'm just going through all these floors like rapid fire. That is really good. Hopefully it doesn't bubble me. Yeah, there we go. Hey, level up. What? Did I level up? It should be up by four. That's a lot for, like, a rookie right there. His stats didn't really go up that high, though. Floor eight. I wonder where the next floor is. Well, we beat the dungeon. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that, Linogia. Look at all the gems sparkling. Well, look over there. It's a gigantic gem. Oh, wow. It is pretty. Oh, I've never seen a gem this huge. This is an incredible treasure. Everyone will be amazed if we take this back. Rocky tried to grab the giant gem. Uh, uh, uh. Now it's not budging. <laughs> really is stuck tight. Can you give it a try, Linogia? Yeah, let me do it. I'm strong. Linogia tried to pull it out. Whoa. This really is stuck. It won't budge. It, it's no, no good. So you can't move it either, Linogia. But we can't just give up. If we try hard enough, we'll probably get some kind of a result. I'm gonna give it another go, Linogia. He sure likes to say my name a lot, huh? Rocky tried to pull out the gigantic gem again. Ugh. Ugh. Huh? It's not budging one bit. A vision. Huh? Oh no. It's happening again. It's... What if we're going to see a Wigglytuff again? Yep, there he is. Who's that Pokemon? I already know. I mean, look at him. Looks like he pressed a button somewhat. And then he got flooded. wonder if that's what we gotta do. But, that was... Ugh. Oh, wait, no, Rock is gonna press it. Ugh. It's no good, I can't pull it out. Rocky just happened to push the gigantic gem. I'm dead, aren't I? I'm a fire type. Oh, uh, what's going on? Wah, it's a flood! Wah! Wah! Peak voice acting, by the way. I don't like shouting. I got neighbors and all that, you know how it is. Huh? Where are we? 
Aha, are you two okay? You popped down out of from nowhere. You started all everyone. Oh, where are we? This is the hot spring. A uh, hot spring? Indeed. This is the hot spring. Hot spring works wonders on tired muscles and creaky joints. Many Pokemon visit here. Tell me, youngster, have you a map? Map? Oh, you mean our wonder map? Yeah, we have one. Unfold it for me. I don't know, can you even see the map? He got his eyes closed. There. Here we are. This is the hot spring location. Oh wow, that's like a southeast of the waterfall. Oh, I see. Waterfall is here, so... Hey, check this out, Lenovia. Waterfall carries us all the way over here. Did it take us that way? Or that way? <laughs> My camera's reversed. Wonder how we ended up... Here? Going this way with the water? And then we ended up that way? I don't know how water works here. What a long journey it must have been. Let the hot spring wash away your fatigue before you make your way home. Good idea. We'll do that. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> now, why is it yellow? Actually, that's a good place to end it. We got about 36 minutes in this one. And we got to a hot spring and we finished the waterfall dungeon. And we got a couple missions done. We got a rank up and everything. This is pretty successful. See you guys in the next episode.